Certainly the case with the announcement of a major enforcement action in D.C. against a pest control company accused of contaminating two apartment complexes. At least one pet was poisoned. Wow, Kenmore Pace Pest Control and Termite Services has agreed to pay for a cleanup and some fines. Environmental reporter Scott Broom has the details about what happened and the steep price the company is now being forced to pay. According to court filings, a dog that was living here at the Columbia Heights Village Apartments on 14th Street here in Ward Run was poisoned after a company called Kenmore Pest Control and Termite Services put out rat poison illegally where pets and kids could get into the stuff. The dog survived the poisoning, but only after having its stomach pumped. The company's technicians were unlicensed and poorly trained, according to a court filing from D.C.'s Office of Attorney General, which went after Kenmore for significant and repeated violations of district law, which included illegal pesticide applications by unlicensed workers on hundreds of occasions in the city between 2019 and 2022. Residents here reacted. How does it strike you a pet was poisoned here? It's a sad thing. It's very sad. If a pet can be poisoned, so can a child, so can an adult. D.C. Assistant Attorney General Wesley Rosenfeld handled the case. They're going to pay $137,000 in civil penalties and cleanup costs for illegally applying toxic pesticides around D.C. apartments that endangered D.C. residents and, and, and damaged the environment. Kenmore is also accused of badly contaminating the landscaping and soil outside the Mayfair Mansion Apartments in Ward 7 by spreading one poison that's only supposed to be used indoors and spreading another that's supposed to be put directly into rat burrows, not the surrounding area. D.C.'s Department of Energy and Environment was forced to conduct a $12,000 cleanup. Kenmore's agreed to pay a $125,000 fine and compensate the city for the cost of the cleanup. The company is also agreeing to pay for the retraining of all of its workforce. Kenmore does not admit liability. The company has not responded to my request for further information and comment. And a warning to tenants and homeowners from the Office of Attorney General, which says if you have a concern about a pesticide applicator, you should ask him or her to show you a license. And if they don't have it, you should report it to authorities. In the district, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.